really excited to be doing a cooking video today because I was kind of hesitant about doing this because I didn't really know if you guys would like a cooking video. But then I got a few requests to do some, so then I'm like, yay, I can do some food videos. So yeah, that is why I'm doing one today. I'm going to be teaching you how to make healthy biscuits. And don't be afraid by the word healthy because even though they're healthy, they're actually amazing and I promise you 100% you'll love them and I'm really addicted to them. Uh, they are like super fluffy and buttery and well I guess I can't say they're buttery because there's no butter in them but they taste like it so they're really awesome and I hope you guys will get to try them out. But as much as I wish I could claim the recipe, I can't because I didn't make it. Um, I actually found it on Pinterest when I was looking at a girl's blog. And she has like a ton of baking recipes, so if you would like to check her out, I'll link her blog down below. Uh, also, I wanted to say, I didn't really use the healthiest variations of ingredients in this video. Like for example, my milk and flour. I just use plain milk and flour, but if you wanted to be 100% healthy, you can use healthier variations of that. But I just chose to stick with simple ingredients today. Uh, so yeah, I know I just talked a lot, but without further ado, let's begin. You will need two cups of all-purpose flour and one fourth cup of solid coconut oil, three fourth cup of any milk of your choice, one tablespoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to add the two cups of flour to a food processor, then add a tablespoon of baking powder and the one half teaspoon of salt and then just blend this together so that it can be well combined. And now add your one fourth cup of coconut oil and you want to make sure it's solid. If it's not, go ahead and put it in a fridge for a few hours and that should solidify it. Then of course blend it again so that the coconut oil can be about the size of peas. And once you have that ready to go, you're going to add 3 4 cup of milk. And you might need to add a little bit more than this. I realized later that I did have to. But then once again, go ahead and blend it. And once you have that all blended up, it should look something like this. So it should look really crumbly, but a little moister than mine because mine was really dry. <laughs> but now go ahead and pour this onto you your cutting board and at this point I hadn't realized that I needed to add the milk yet so yeah if yours look like mine you will definitely need to add more milk but I would recommend just going one tablespoon at a time this little will go a long way then go ahead and roll it out and you can do it with a rolling pin or of course you can use your hand and now you can go ahead and take like a mason jar or anything that is around that size and cut out your little biscuits and it should make around a, I mean obviously the number could change but it usually makes around that much. Then go ahead and take some Pam and spray a baking sheet with that and now I'm just going to go ahead and lay the biscuits on there and put it into an oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it at 10 degrees, sorry, for 10 to 15 minutes and when you take it out it should be slightly golden on the top and a little fluffier than when you put it in. And that is literally it, you guys. So as you can see, they were really easy to make, and they're really delicious. And you can top them with whatever you would like. But however you eat it, I'm sure you will love them. So as you could probably tell by the pictures and the videos and all the other stuff, that these biscuits are really amazing. And I hope you will get to try them out. And if you do, as always, be sure to let me know in the comment section. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye!